So you need a couple of pieces of paper. If you have construction paper that you have different colors, that'd be amazing. But if you don't, totally fine. So um, let's pick a couple sections in our paper. Let's just do like two lines down and then maybe two lines across like that. So each, some of these sections we might not use. That's okay. So first section, you're gonna draw a mouth. So it can be anything you want to. So like, let's say I'm gonna draw these lips and then I'm gonna show teeth. Okay, kind of silly. And I could color it in if I want to. Okay, up to you. I could put braces on the teeth, but I'm not going to. Okay. So in another square, you're going to draw an eye. So for an eye, I like to do like, it kind of looks like, I don't know what this, like a seed. So it's kind of pointed on both ends. And then in the center, you do kind of that circle where the color of your eye is. In the center of that is is black, maybe I'll do, because my eyes are blue, do blue. Okay, cool. Now, in another square, we're gonna do a nose. Now, noses can be pretty tough. Um, I'm gonna show you one way to do it that is kind of for illustrations. It's not a realistic nose. So one way I do noses real quick for illustration is I kind of do that side tri half triangle and then do that curve around here. Now, another thing you could do for your nose is do more of kind of this, like the curve with the two circles. So since we're just doing an illustration here real quick, it doesn't really matter that it's perfect or looks like a nose. If you wanna get real into it, you could always do that little bump right there, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so noses, so you need a nose. And now you need an ear. Okay, I'm just doing a simple ear with the hole because it's got to have hearing and then like that. That's how I do illustration ears. Now in the next square, you're going to do another eye. So let's do, you can do kind of similar. I'm gonna do one, let's see, maybe one that's, that's um, closed. That's kind of cool. Oh, I'm gonna do eyelashes, because I like them. Okay, so I did a closed eye, an open eye. What else do we have to do? Oh, we have to do um, another ear. So you wanna do another ear but facing the other way. So maybe this time it's going to be like this shape, not going to be the same. And then I'm only going to use this, you know, so I'm just going to get rid of these. Okay, so we have everything on our face, right? We have mouth, mouth, nose, eye, eye, ear, ear. Okay, so we need, this is when we need our other paper. Well, first we're going to cut these out. You can cut them out as close as you want to, to your drawing. You can also leave them in kind of this square shape. But to you, like for the nose, so I'm gonna leave in the square shape because it's an illustration. The ear, I'm just gonna trim down some of the paper. Like this eye, I can't really, that would be really hard to cut. So I'm just gonna trim down as much as I can. Try and get rid of some of that pencil. Like that. Okay, same thing with this ear. I need to see all that pencil. And this eye. Extra. And then the mouth. The mouth I think I am gonna cut out. Doesn't seem like it would be that hard. 
Okay. So while you're cutting out, I'm gonna go get another piece of colored paper because I wanna show you what this is gonna be. So hold tight. Okay, we're back. I got this orange paper, it's got a little rip in it, so it's perfect, um, and then all of my shapes. So I need to push all my shapes off. If you don't have a, another color paper, that's fine. White is fine. Or if you wanna use a whiteboard instead of another piece of paper, you could put all of these shapes on a whiteboard. Okay, so on your second paper or your whiteboard, you need to draw, let's see, draw the shape of a head. So let's just say I'm gonna draw this kind of circle like that. And then let's just leave it for that, okay? Now, with your glue stick, you're gonna take each piece that you just cut out and you're gonna put them in the space where they should go. So there's one of my eyes. Now if I had glue, I would be gluing them down. Here's my other eye. Now see how it's not fitting in the shape? That's good, that's good. Here's a funny, here's an ear for that side. Here's an ear for this side. Okay, looking good. Oh, and my nose. Love it. Here, let's put my, pull my nose up and then put this on top like that. Now, something that you could do to add to this. You could add, this is pretty cool actually. You could add um, hair, however you wanna do it. Okay, so once you've glued this down, then it's up to you how you continue with this portrait. So this is kind of a collage style, Picasso style portrait. So it's up to you how you fill in the rest of it. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. So once you've glued everything down in its place, you'll be able to finish it. So you might be able to put a shirt in, a necklace, put some earrings on, you know, maybe cut out some pieces from maybe something else and make shapes for earrings or necklaces, you could even cut out using like other shapes to make a hat. Totally up to you. But anyways, take a picture, send it to me because I'm so excited to see what you come up with for this project.